Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. So today we are going to uh, see the troubleshooting of app connectors, right? So let me log in into the app connector. So uh, troubleshooting app connector is not that easy task, right? So you should be familiar with the Linux architecture and then only you, you would be able to troubleshoot this. So let's first get inside the root mode. Right. So the basic thing uh, you need to check is your uh, interface configuration. So you just need to type if config and this is going to give you the uh, configuration of your uh, interface, what IP you have configured, net mask, broadcast and the default gateway and all that stuff. Right. And uh, now you need to make sure that this app connector is uh, having internet access and there is no problem with the uh, you know, DNS resolutions. So try to ping, uh, you know, FQDNs from the app connector. And if it is able to ping, it means so the DNS is configured properly. There is no issue in that. And uh, we can also make use of this dig uh, tool. So dig broker dot production dot dot net is going to give you the details about the uh, the scalar cloud, whether app connector is able to resolve all the uh, cloud uh, IP addresses or not, you can see all the details we have got. So this is going to give you the in detail, uh, you know, information about the DNS queries, which your uh, app connector is making. So you can see uh, header, opcode query, ID, right? And then you can see the answer. This is what we have received. And this is our DNS server, which is providing us this information. Okay. And uh, similarly, you can ping your internal application through the app connector to make sure that app connector is able to reach out to your internal applications, right? And we can see we are able to ping the internal applications from the app connector. Similarly, you can make use of MTR tool to, you know, uh, get the uh, details, you know, the, the path between the app connector and the destination. So it is going to give you the details. Uh, you can see your app connector, packet loss, right? So you can get these de details with the help of the MTR tool. Then uh, with the help of the top command, you can see the current CPU utilization of the app connector. You can see all the processes, all the processors, you know, how much CPU cores they are using. You can see here 0 0.3 or 0.2% in user space, 0.3 system space, right? You can see your memory utilization in this column, CPU here, resident memory, shared memory, uh, daemon running state, right? Sleeping, running, sleeping, virtual memory, right? Priority of the daemon, process ID of the daemon. So if you wanna kill any particular daemon, you need to uh, note down this process ID. And then you can make use of the command, uh, you know, kill minus nine to kill that particular over exhausting process if it, any process is, ex you know, exhausting your CPU. So let's say I wanna kill this particular crypto. So if I will run this command, this daemon will be killed, right? So, we do it when we are running out of the CPU or you know high CPU related issues you are facing. Similarly, when you're going to type free, it is going to tell you about your random access memory, how much memory is free, right? And how much it is used currently. So if you're uh, facing memory re leak problem, you will see that free will become zero almost. And you need to restart the app connector to again free up the memory, okay? Because what happens, processes are going to acquire the uh, buffers and then they don't release the buffers and which leads to memory leak problems. Similarly, uh, if uh, you are running out of disk space due to XYZ reason, so you can check it with the help of this command and you can just uh, check how much uh, space is there used, available, right? And what is your current utilization? So similarly, you can see dev sda1. So this is the main directory, 12 gig and you can see how much it is being utilized. So if you're trying to upgrade your app connector and if it is failing, so make sure that you have enough disk space. If not, then you need to uh, delete some files, right? From the directory, uh, you know, uh, from the directory like of the scalar var, right? Uh, make sure that you don't uh, delete, uh, 
anything extra inside of the scalars okay so whenever you are deleting extra files make sure that you don't delete crucial information then uh, if you want to check the number of used ports then you can simply run this command ss ifn uln pipe wc ifn l right ampersand n n ss hyphen tn state connected wc hyphen l so this is going to tell you how many uh, number of uh, you know use ports are there right so you can see similarly uh, if you want to check the current status of your cp app connector so you can simply run this command system control status zpa connector right and if it is running active running it means it is working perfectly fine and you can see broker control state data connection and all that stuff here right similarly uh, if you want to view your app connector logs then you can use uh, i mean you can run this command general ctl hyphen u zpa connector right and this will show you the app connector logs you can see all the logs whatever is happening whenever uh, any particular you know uh, process is taking any uh, action all that stuff is getting recorded here and these are your app connector process logs okay that is your app connector so you can see all the details here dns related m tunnels broker data connections right so if you are facing any problem then you can check the logs from here similarly uh, if you want to grab the information about applications that can be reached by app connector then you can use this command general ctl n100 grip target and this is going to give you the uh, details of your applications right so this will show you the applications which are reachable via app connector okay then if you want to save this uh, status logs to a particular file then you can run this command general ctl if we use epa connector and just your file name dot txt right and if you want to do if you want to check whether you have uh, written the log successfully or not just do ls minus la and make sure that you are inside the uh, root home directory right uh, where you can create the files i mean where you have created the provisioning key file in that particular directory only this file will be created okay so just taking time let's wait for this okay it is done so let me see in which directory we are so we are inside home admin only so if you are going to do ls minus la and you would be able to see this particular file okay and if you do cat so you would be able to see these logs okay so let me do control c and uh, if you want to see war log messages you can do that as well so just do cd war log and then do ls minus la and here you would be able to see messages war log messages here so you can open up this file you can do you can use cat you can use tail it depends upon you and you can see all the logs right and you can apply the filters okay so started session logged in new session 
right so all these logs you can see here selected source so we'll get the details here okay so these are the message logs so if you face any problem you can come and check here then um, if you know your upgrade is in failed state for more than 24 hours then you need to collect the output from the uh, you know uh, specific directories like uh, cat opt the scalar var version so you can see the version current version right then you need to uh, capture information from here as well of the scalar var version right so you will be able to see the details about the version file when it was created right so it was uh, created on 8th june right so you get all these details similarly if you want to uh, check the image bin version file right so you can just simply type uh, opt the scalar and make sure you are inside the root mode otherwise these commands will not work image dot bin hyphen version and you can see the version right of your current file okay and uh, similarly if you feel like that uh, you might be running out of disk then we need to clear up some space right and uh, you can run these commands df minus uh, h du minus h right and it will give you the uh, picture right what is going on and du minus a uh, slash pipe wait, slash pipe hyphen n hyphen r and this will give you the detail of your head where it is right now you uh, i think command not found this is a strange so this command is not working yeah so you can simply use uh, du iphone a and you will get the details of the directories and then you can get inside these directories and you can clear up the space okay and uh, if you want to stop the app connector then you can simply type system ctl stop zpa connector and it is going to uh, stop the connector and if you're going to check the status now so you will see that is inactive or dead right similarly you can start and then if you're going to check the status you can see it is active and running okay so this is how you can uh, troubleshoot your zpa related problem and on portal uh, what you can do is you can go to dashboard you can go to health and uh, here you would be able to see your app connector status whether they are up and down so right now we just uh, you know restarted the app connector so that's the reason here it is showing down but after some time uh, one of the connector will come up this one is down right and if you go to app connector here then you can select your range 14 days of data you need to see and here you will be able to get the statistics about your app connectors so from portal as well you can uh, check basic things and uh, through cli you can do the deep troubleshooting right and if you want to modify any particular file so you can go to etc directory because you have the config files here so if you are familiar with the coding then only come here otherwise do not touch these uh, config files because this is going to corrupt your uh, you know app connector as well so we have this uh, network file right then uh, we have this uh, 
crony config right so if i will open it up less so you can see that uh, it is having all the details of your ntp servers and you can add your own ntp servers as well so you can use any editor right let's say i want to use vim so or i want to use nano so nano crony config so now i can enter my own uh, ntp servers right so i can add the details here if you have it if you want to override these settings okay similarly uh, other files like uh, let me show you we have uh, host config file right then you have a network you have your password file right and uh, you have your uh, resolve config for dns settings so if you want to change your dns name server then you need to update this file okay so whatever processes are running in your linux environment their config files are always placed inside etc directory this is your yum to upgrade the app connector and you can check out the yum config file as well but i would recommend if you are not familiar with the uh, linux architecture then do not come into this directory and update any file it is going to uh, corrupt your processes and then multiple features will fail okay so we used to do it when used to, when we used to work for the tax so this is a like day to day job so you you don't do it okay so that's it these are the basic commands you can run for the app connector and you can capture the logs because this is not uh, like uh, it will give you the error message because this machine is quite stable as compared to other other products in the market so generally you don't get much error logs in app connector connectivities okay so thanks for watching this video we have a dedicated course available so you can subscribe to our course to get more information on z skiller technology thanks for watching bye bye